Hey guys, it's Pinelli here, and welcome to the second part of my fall, winter thrift haul. The second one. Okay, so the first thing we have is this dress here, which is all cut up because this is actually a DIY I did. And if you go to my Instagram, exclusive Brie X3, you'll see how this dress actually turned out. Next, we have some jeans from the men's section, and they are Jordache, which I only got because the black designer, the Quan Smith, has a collab with them. Hopefully I get his collab, but for now, in my mind, just having jeans like this is okay. And the next thing we have, ooh, Alexa Sunshine 83, a YouTuber here, is always finding Harley Davidson. And I've been trying to find Harley Davidson like her. And finally, I found some jeans of Harley Davidson. Well, they're like capris, but I'm short, so they're going to be like high water type jeans that you wear with your Doc Martens, biker boots, socks and sneakers, however you want to do it. But yes, I finally found some Harley Davidson like Alexa. Then we have this brown knit shirt, which I got again because Zara has a lot of knitwear. So it just looks like this. The browns look more richer in person than they do on camera, and this is something called, from a brand called Division. Next, we have some, ugh, all the YouTubers also find 501 Levi's, and I could never find any, but I finally found some 501s. Shout out to the men's section, because it's perfect. So it's just these Levi's here. And they're also like high water esque. I don't know. The men are really short <laughs> in my neighborhood, I guess. Then we have this. Oh, oh. More jeans. Well, not jeans. These are corduroys. Some rich dark chocolate corduroys. By. First issue, oh, Liz Claiborne, one of her companies. Again, they look better in person than they do on camera. And I've been looking for some corduroys like this, so I was happy to find them. Then we have this gray silver, no, it's not silver, it's a gray shirt. It's like a dress top. And this is from, of course, American Apparel. I used to always want American Apparel, but I just never made it around to getting it. Then we have this chocolate two-tone mini bag. Because what's called mine if there's no mini bags? And this is by The Sack, whoever that is. Yeah, it just says the sack. Made in, oh cool, made in Indonesia. I don't really have a lot of stuff in there. Well, made there. Then I got some beanies, and this is an orange one. And then I got some of these that I wear around the house. Some basketball shorts when you don't have a man, but you still like basketball shorts. So you buy your own because you can't steal your invisible man stuff. And then I got this. Hold on. Which I definitely will be wearing as a top because lingerie is one as tops now. Now and forever more. And the last thing in this bag is this bustier which if you can't tell by now i have an obsession with them this is from 
I don't know this brand, and I can't say it, so, yeah. Here, is this too dark? I don't know. Here. And next is this, which I wore for my birthday. Yesterday was my birthday. My Sagittarius, and this is the dress I wore. It looks better in person, and it's on my Instagram, exclusive free x3, if you want to see it. Then we have this boy meets world type thing here. Ugh, this. This is boy meets world. This is Dan on Roseanne. And it's by a brand called Streetline. Then we have another dress, and it is a purple and black dress. It wraps around the neck. It's pretty short. It kind of reminds me of Dirty Dancing, and it is by someone named Taboo. So, yes, it's the dress. Wraps around the neck. Then we are on to the second bag. And in this bag, we have another Boussier type thing. What I DIY. I cut it up. We have a, what is this? Lingerie type piece. Oh my gosh. Show. Yes, that. We have a DIY I did. Originally, it was a man's top, but I already have the vision. So this is the bottom piece. It is a skirt. You can't see it's asymmetrical, but I sewed it up, put a button on it. It's camo. And this is the matching top to that asymmetrical DIY I did camo and this is by the brand I cannot see these brands forgive me but yes why does this look like that then we have a a regular um black top by Calvin Klein Just another basic. We have another hat. This one's navy blue. And we have yet another hat. This one is like ugh, baby bluish. And then we have, oh my god, another hat. This one's black. <laughs> I guess you can't have too many hats in my mind. Then, ooh, we have this denim top. This is by, ooh, it's got the tags on, Ashley Stewart. No one wore this, it's fresh with tags. Then we have, Cardigans are in, especially like this kind I saw. I forgot what his name is, but he's a YouTuber as well. He does, he focuses on men's style. I saw one of these on his channel and I was like, I have to have it. So I went out to see if I could find it and I did. One of the thick cardigans. They are a trend for the season. And then we have this poofy skirt, which more than likely I'll wear as a top. And then we have this top here. Hold on. By, let me see who's by first. Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
Norton, whoever that is. Shout out to them because I love this piece here. Then we have this leather skirt, which I do not like because it's so freaking hot in this skirt. But we have a leather skirt by Plus Factor. And we have a vest because vests are in, as I said in the previous video. This vest is, oh my gosh, get it together. This is, oh no, can't see the brand again. But this is what it looks like. Might be of the Egyptians or something Middle Eastern without appropriating their culture. And the last thing in this haul is this corduroy dress. It's blue. It's so wrinkly because it's been in the bag a long time. And this is by Woman Within. Okay, that is the last thing of this haul. I hope you guys liked it. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.